So welcome back to WCCF Tech TV everyone. It's Keith once again and I was really hoping that today we would be giving you an update and the results for something that I was working on. You see, I was taking my workstation behind me, which is my personal computer. It's the one that I do all the work for the site on and I also do all my gaming and everything else on it. So it's that's my computer. The test bench that, well, I treat that as it belongs to the site as well as all those graphics cards over there. So what I was doing was this is an X370 based system with the Crosshair 6 Hero with a Ryzen 7 1700. It's overclocked uh, to about 3.8 gigahertz. Yeah, 3.8, 32 gigs of RAM and an RTX 2070. Now, what I was going to do was see what kind of benefit does it really, do I really get with my entire workflow, including gaming, by switching the CPU out for a 30, Ryzen 9 3900X. So I ordered the Ryzen 9 3900X uh, as, as soon as it became available on Best Buy. And I know some people are going, Keith, why did you order it on Best Buy? Best Buy, eh, they're the worst buy. Well, truth is, at the time, I was told by employees at that particular store that I went to that they would have it in stock and that they had it in the back. Uh, turns out they were what you know you, you, what I should have expected they they didn't have it it was online and it had just gone up for purchase online so I bought it right then because I didn't see it on Amazon I didn't see it on Newegg Newegg had it but it was only in bundles and I didn't want motherboards I just wanted the chip so I ordered it and I just got the notification yesterday that it was going to be shipping out on or around July 22nd now I ordered it on the 7th and it wasn't going to ship till the 22nd. So uh, I nixed that. So I canceled the order for a couple reasons. One, we did get confirmation from AMD that they are sending us the Ryzen 5 3400G and the Ryzen 5 3600X. Now, Hassan, who did the review, used a 3600X. So if you want to see how it performs there, I'll be doing something a little different with it, including a build and some other things. But we ordered up Instead, well, I did. Instead of the 3900X, I went ahead and ordered a Radeon RX 5700. The XT was sold out where I went to order it, but I just switched the order. So I still went with Best Buy, but I just switched my order over to a 5700. So we're going to use that for something. Not really sure. We just got in a Radeon 7 on loan from someone else, and I'm going to do some stuff with it, but. Uh, word on the street is it's EOL. Eh, there's not really a whole lot of confirmation from AMD on that one other than that there plenty are available in the channel for people who want to buy them. So whatever that means. But what I wanted to reach out to you guys was we picked up a, an MSI B450 Tomahawk motherboard because I had B350 uh, X370 boards but with these particular chips the B450 Tomahawk seems like a very, very solid choice. Uh, price right, the amenities are there. It's, I love the B350 Tomahawk, so I wanted to give the B450 a shot, so picked it up as well. Remember, canceled the 3900X. I just used the money for other stuff. So with the 3400G coming in, I've fired up the 2400G to go ahead and get some preliminary testing, but what I wanted to know from you guys is what kind of games do you want to see tested? Uh, Obviously, there's a lot of games it can run, and there's going to be some that it can. Is that what you want to see? Do you want to see the limitations of it, or do you want to see where it's best at? So I've already downloaded and installed and been playing on a bunch of different games from World of Warcraft, Diablo 3, um, even Fallout 4. People still play that, I think, right? And uh, some other games, including Crisis, because eh, why not? Um, but I want to see what kind of games do you want us to focus on on it. Do you want indie games? Do you want isometric games? Do you want role-playing games? Do you want racing, fighting, modern AAA? Or do you want us to roll it back again? Because I can tell you right now, the 2400G can play the daylights out of Bioshock Infinite at 1080p higher detail settings. So is that what you want to see? I'd love to hear your thoughts on that one. Uh, Navi, uh, what do you want us to do with the 5700? I want to take the 3600X and I want to compare it to the 9900K and I know that seems very unfair and it would be if we were using a 2080 Ti but I really want to use that 5700 or I can use a 2060 Super. Uh, about a 350 $400 graphics card to me would be about the most you'd want to put on a $250 CPU but if the performance is there, I don't know. Love to see how the, that kind of shakes out. I may take the 3600X and put it in and do what I was going to do with the 3900X. Is the 3600X as so much of an improvement that it overpowers the 1700? See, there's 
there's a little bit of news sprinkled in this video, but it's mostly an update as well as reaching out for community feedback because you guys, uh, I wanna deliver what you guys wanna see. I'm not gonna tailor the results, but I do wanna know where you want me to be looking at with these. Because Ryzen's been out for, the Ryzen 3000's been out for a week now, and so is Navi, and you've seen what has been presented in reviews, and let's take a look at what may have gotten missed that you would still like to see. Because remember, I've got, I may have only have the 5700 on hand, but I do have the Super cards, I've got the Pascal cards to compare it to, I've got the Vega cards. You just let me know what you guys wanna see. I'm gonna come up with some things. We'll see where it goes, we'll see how it does. In the meantime, love to hear your thoughts on any of the topics in this video down in the comment section below. And this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. Feel free to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that we don't miss you and the next one.